Hey guys, it's Flynn, and it is another lazy Saturday. Um, my spring break officially started yesterday, so I've got a whole day of doing nothing on. And then a whole week of doing nothing to do. So, that's really fun. Um, since it's spring break, I am at my mom's place, because I am such a partier that I have nothing to do. Apparently, the rest of the family was going to Phoenix, Arizona, and my older sister had to work, so she's going to be at work most of the week. So it's just me and the dog. Come here, dog. It's me and Nicholas. Yes. We don't really get along very well. So he's out. <laughs> Just me and the dog. Oh god, now he's gonna want me to play with him. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about how we came out. So I came out, I, like, I had to come out like three times, kind of, for different things. Um, back in my hometown, before I went to college, like all the way up until then, I had to come out to my whole town as a girl, like constantly, because they all thought I was a guy. Because I acted like a guy. Because I look. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, because um, I acted like a guy, I looked like a guy, I talked to talk and walked the walk. People seriously thought I was a guy. And like, um, even through like, all the way through high school, par like parents of children were like, astounded. I remember there was this one guy's parent and like we we're out just like having dinner or something and he saw us and we were talking and somehow it came out that I was a girl or something or like my mom used said she or something. He's like Wait that but that's your son I don't believe you no no way no way it was great Unfortunately, I hadn't figured it out by then, and we corrected, like, everyone, always. Ugh, we're so stupid. But yeah, I had to come out to my hometown as a girl for the first, like, half of my life. Then I, my junior year of high school, I uh, found out I like girls. So I came out as a lesbian. So that was how I identified until college, where one of my girlfriends like just pointed out, "Hey, maybe you're trans because look at you, <laughs> like everything about me is just just think about it, you know, maybe." And I did, and like, <laughs> so that's what it is. I'm not stealth at all. Like, if you ask me, I'll definitely tell you. Be like, yeah, that's what's up. But I'm also a little bit shy. But I'm really bad at keeping secrets, too. So, like, I don't think I've ever been in the closet ever for, like, any time. Except, like, it crossed my mind once in high school. Maybe I was trans, but I, I wasn't sure, so I didn't identify that way yet. Well, I couldn't come out because I didn't know, you know? But, like, usually the second I find out, within a couple of weeks, I'm out. <laughs> and I don't do well with the closet, except when I'm scared. Some Sometimes I hide. But not, not really. Um, this house is freaking me out. Like, <laughs> what even is that? Hey dog. Oh 
well. This house is, like, not airtight at all, so, like, there's blinds swinging, there's, like, noises all over the place. The doors, like, close themselves and open themselves, because random winds and... Ah. Great place you've got, Mom. <laughs> it scares me. But yeah, I'm like constantly out of the closet. Um, I never really got to come out as lesbian to my mom. Um, my sisters outed me, so I never actually got to do that myself. Which... It sucked, because I wanted to be there. I wanted to see the reaction. Meh. Like, she's cool with it. Like, pretty much everything ever. No fucks given. <laughs> like, seriously, if... Of all the parents I know... Um, with, like, coming out about stuff... Mine's probably one of the best. I lucked out. I'm a lucky kid. Maybe it's because I'm Irish. Speaking of Irish, today's St. Patty's Day. Woo! And remember before how I was talking about how I wanted my corned beef and cabbage stew? I'm not getting it because mom's in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> So, unless I can, like, go to a store and find all the ingredients and make it myself, I'm not getting it. That's crap. <sighs> I need some tea. So, what was I rambling about? So, I didn't get to come out to my mom. And my dad's a jerk and was never here for us, so... I don't even know if he knows that I was ever gay or anything. Like, I don't even know if he knows that I graduated high school. Your fault. You missed out. Whatever. Um, this house is just... Ah! Um, so, then, I figured it out, like, freshman year of college, give or take. And then, I think it was, it was either, like, the summer of my freshman year, or, like, the middle of the year, I was in the middle. Whenever it was hot in my town, it's like always winter here, but like, it was hot then. Whenever that was, my sophomore year, when I was living in that crazy house, and um, <clears throat> I just remember being at my sister's apartment, and she had the apartment when I was living in that house. Well, I guess she was in a house too. But anyway, I came out to my mom there and the way I did that was I, I was just gonna like say it but I'm like surprisingly shy and nervous about telling people important things so I do what I do best whipped out my phone typed up a little message and sent it to my mom who was sitting right next to me and then awkwardly waited I don't remember exactly what I said in the, in the text, but basically it's like, I'm trans and all these things and I things and yes. <laughs> yeah, like it was more eloquent than that. But it got the point across. Um, and she was pretty much fine with it. She, like the only reason I can't say 100% that she's fine with it is because she doesn't understand it. Like, 
she's kind of getting it now, but I still have to explain things to her all the time. Like, she's supportive, but doesn't know how to support. <laughs> and really, that's the only problem with my family. Like, they don't care that I'm trans. They don't care that I'm gay. They don't care that I like girls or boys or... Actually, I, I'm not sure if they know that I like kind of everything. Whatever. But um, they don't they don't care about any of that. Like, it's not a problem. Really, their only problem is like adjusting. And it it takes time. It's only been two two years, a year and a half. I don't know what it is exactly yet. But they're trying. And they're pretty good about it. Mom uses my, she calls me Flynn a lot, which is nice. She used to, like, switch back and forth. Now I think mainly, like, when she's mad, she uses the other one, because, like, she's all in a fluster and she's not thinking. And the other name, it was, like, 18 years of my life that she called me that. So I, I can understand if when you're mad and your, like, instincts are just all flying. That you'd forget what my name is. Yeah. <coughs> Cough, please. <sighs> Both my sisters are pretty good with calling me my name. Um, I think what my family really tries to do is just avoid pronouns at all. Uh, they're not very good at calling me he yet. Um, sometimes it happens, and when it does happen, it they have like this huge streak of just using the right pronouns and then it just disappears for some reason and there's like huge expanses of nothing but overall they're pretty good about it I guess I don't know So my tips for coming out is have information that even if you don't like have it memorized yet, you can like still be able still you can still like be able to help explain anything that they might need to know. Like the more information you have, the better it's probably gonna go. Cause most people I feel don't agree with it because they have no clue what the fuck we're talking about. Like, that's probably the biggest part of it. Um, just be able to inform people or show them where to go to get informed about whatever they need to know. Um, don't, like, try to rush making them change, because creatures of habit. We all are creatures of habit. Unless you're, like, Captain Spontaneous... You're a creature of habit. It takes time. Some people take less time than others. But it takes time. Like, it took time for me even to start using the right pronouns for myself. And I was the one who was changing. And, like, it should be easiest for me. But it took me a while. Like, I, I just would not use pronouns for myself at all. I was like, I don't know. I'm a... No. Evade! Woo! But, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was difficult. Just feel it out. Make sure you're, like, in a safe place. It's kind of like if you came out as gay. Like, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. If you've got, like, crazy parents that hate new things and, like, they're never gonna accept anything ever, I probably wouldn't come out to them until it's, until you could, like, support yourself, it's be able to stay at a friend's house till your parents stop going crazy or something. It's, it's just better to, like, be prepared for the worst than to just expect them to be awesome about it and then, like, randomly get thrown out or something and have nowhere to go and have no, nothing anywhere.
and have just not expecting this at all. I don't think that happens as much as it did like when this is like first coming out, but sometimes it still happens. So you, you need to be safe and you need to just be sure if you're not safe in your own home, you can find a place to be safe. Stay safe. Safety, kids. Just do it. Uh, yeah. So enjoy your spring break if you're on spring break. Enjoy your Saturday since I'm assuming it's Saturday everywhere. And enjoy St. Patty's Day if you do that. Have some corned beef and cabbage for me. I'm not actually too torn up about it because I had it twice in the past two weeks. Yay school for randomly having Irish themed food for two weeks. Whatever. Toodles!